the journey of self-mastery, learning the art of navigating and blocking the external reality is powerful to cultivate a deeper connection with your internal reality. That truly is the truth of the matter when it comes to self-mastery. Welcome to the Conscious Publicist Podcast, a space where thoughts become ideas to advocate for a more conscious human experience in the media. Our thoughts and ideas inspire action, and the most notable leaders and organizations have transformed thoughts and ideas into global initiatives that have impacted the lives of millions. My name is Ashley Graham, and as a woman-owned business founder and publicist, I guide leaders, visionaries, and creators in discovering their conscious media voice and methodologies that inspire connection, community, and impact through aligned media channels. In this podcast, we'll dive into public relations, thought leadership, business, and entrepreneurship, all through the lens of being a conscious human being. I'll take you behind the scenes into the habits, thoughts, and modalities that have helped leaders shift past paradigms of limiting beliefs, comparison, and self-doubt to show up for themselves to become the subject matter experts they were called to be. Subscribe to the show on Apple or Spotify and join us on this journey of awakening the conscious, enlightened leader within you. Welcome back, Conscious Leader, to the second episode of our mini-series on self-mastery. As we discussed in the first episode, this topic holds a special place in my heart as it allows me to dive as deeply as I desire to go into the many facets of the topic, or if I only want to focus on the fundamental aspects and significant points of impact of the topic, it gives me the space to do so as well, while providing plenty of value. It really truly is a universal topic that can expand in levels and one that is ever evolving, which keeps it fresh, engaging, and insightful. The reality of this topic is that self-mastery represents a phase in our lives where we consistently meet new versions of ourselves at a deeper level, with each level more profound and unique than the others. It is a space where personal growth and transformation seamlessly merge with our reality, encouraging the shedding of old chapters and versions of self to embrace new ones. Throughout this series, we will continue to explore the realization that self-mastery is a conscious choice and how you can use self-mastery practices to continuously evolve your reality in a positive and impactful way. However, in this episode specifically, we will explore a range of self-mastery practices designed to help you strengthen your inner connection and develop resilience against external distractions all while harnessing the true power of your empowered internal reality. By adopting these practices, you can cultivate heightened self-awareness, channel your energy towards greater personal fulfillment, and ultimately unlock a transformative self-mastery blueprint with lasting benefits. If you have not listened to the previous episode, which is episode one of the mini-series, I highly suggest you do so because you'll start to notice a few key words that were mentioned in the first episode, and that will universally transcribe through the rest of the episodes in this mini-series. In the journey of self-mastery, learning the art of navigating and blocking the external reality is powerful to cultivate a deeper connection with your internal reality. That truly is the truth of the matter when it comes to self-mastery. We're going to talk about the differences between our internal and external realities because that's truly where the work of self-mastery comes to play. The world will always be filled with opinions, oppositions, comments, judgments, and that push and pull in our experiences that can easily sway our thoughts, emotions, actions, reactions, and ultimately the choices and the decisions we make. This is where true self-mastery lies with the ability to filter out the noise of external influences to prioritize inner truth and wisdom. By embracing a specific self-mastery blueprint, you can establish a strong internal foundation that allows you to focus on your authentic self while nurturing your personal growth. 
Diving into the impact of this episode, I want us to cover the importance of cultivating a strong foundation or environment for self-mastery. This is what we are going to call the self-mastery blueprint. Embarking on the path of self-mastery is a transformative journey that allows you to write new chapters of your life. It requires a conscious blueprint of self-awareness, growth, expansion, and the dedication to consistently nurture these aspects of yourself. Starting with the beginning of the self-mastery blueprint, this is where cultivating self-awareness comes to play. At the core of self-mastery lies self-awareness. The most transformative aspect about self-awareness is the ability to observe our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors without self-judgment. Through this phase of the self-mastery blueprint, this is where you would start by observing your thoughts, emotions, and behaviors without judgment. While there may be remarkable chances for self-mastery and personal growth through positive experiences that involve minimal challenges, the most profound transformative work often arises from engaging with polarities and facing objections in our lives. When engaging in a difficult conversation or confronting a challenging experience, it is beneficial to adopt the role of the observer, closely examining our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors in that particular moment. To open this part up to a mini reflection, it's important to cultivate a conscious awareness of both our inner and outer realities in this part of the blueprint. And I have a question, a thought provoking question, if you will, that you can ask yourself to kind of tap into the vibration of cultivating self-awareness. So write this down or ask yourself in this moment, how can I consciously think, respond, or behave in the moments where opposition arises in my life? To further strengthen this level of self-awareness, I want to talk about a few modalities that I always recommend, which are regular reflection, meditation, and journaling to enhance your self-awareness. By reflecting upon your inner world through practices like meditation, journaling, and self-reflection, you gain a deeper understanding of your triggers, patterns, and underlying motivations. This self-awareness empowers you to make intentional choices, overcome obstacles, and create positive change through how you then decide to move through life. Through these specific modalities, you can also begin to understand your strengths, weaknesses, and areas for self-improvement. Self-awareness supports you in identifying unconscious patterns to assist you in overcoming obstacles and begin making more intentional thoughts, responses, and actions in those moments of opposition. My last little piece of advice here for cultivating self-awareness is to regularly engage in self-reflection and introspection as often as possible in both positive experiences and with ones with more friction. Keeping a journal to record your thoughts, progress, and insights allows you to come back to these thoughts or writing to help bring clarity to your thinking patterns and areas that can still use some self-improvement. And for my thought leaders, these journal pages or moments of reflection make for incredible content. The next phase in this self-mastery blueprint is setting clear intentions in the areas of your life that you are looking to transform. When it comes to setting intentions, The clearer you are as to the what and why, the better. You can start by listing out your intentions and then defining them through your values, goals, and your purpose for setting them in the first place. By defining and listing out your intentions, values, and your overall purpose, you establish a clear roadmap that guides your actions. This also helps ensure your efforts are aligned with your aspirations providing you with a sense of purpose and motivation. Here are a few examples of common intentions that you can set to give you some perspective. Intention one, become a more conscious leader. If you are seeking to become a more conscious leader, you might want to start by first defining your values as a leader. Ask yourself, what principles and beliefs do I want to embody in my leadership style? Then set specific goals related to conscious leadership. 
For example, if you set the intention to improve your listening skills, practicing empathy, or fostering a positive work environment, list those goals out so you know what you're hoping to achieve. Then clarify your purpose for becoming a more conscious leader. Ask yourself, why is this important to me? How will it benefit both myself and those I lead? Intention two, become a better communicator. If you're looking to enhance your communication skills or just become an overall better communicator, first identify the values that guide effective communication for you. This could include incorporating more honesty in your speech, more clarity, participating active listening, or tuning in with more empathy. To find specific goals to enhance your communication skills and set a roadmap for that. For instance, improving your public speaking, learning conflict resolution techniques, or enhancing your written communication are all specific goals that you can set to become a better communicator. Then determine your overall purpose behind becoming a better communicator. Is it to build stronger relationships, convey your ideas more effectively, or inspire and motivate others? List that out or get clear as to the purpose behind becoming a better communicator, and it will help tie that into your overall roadmap. Intention number three, become more empathetic. If you want to elevate your empathy or become more empathetic in areas of your life, reflect on the values that underpin empathy for you. These might include elevating your compassion, understanding, or the ability to see things from others' perspective. Set tangible goals that promote empathy in various situations. This could involve active listening, practicing non-judgment for yourself or others, or seeking out diverse perspectives. Then you want to understand your purpose for cultivating empathy. Is it to enhance your personal relationships, create a more inclusive work environment, or contribute to a more compassionate society? Get clear as to your purpose of becoming more empathetic and how that ties into your reflection and your goals. Intention number four, become more calm and trusting. If you are looking to bring more calmness into your life and become more trusting of yourself and others, set an intention through your values, goals, and your purpose here. First, define your values associated with being calm and trusting. These may include cultivating inner peace, resilience, or faith to become more calm and trusting. Establish goals that help you cultivate calmness and trust. This could involve practicing mindfulness, developing coping strategies for stress, or building trust in relationships. Then reflect on your purpose behind seeking calmness and trust. Is it to improve your well-being, enhance your decision-making abilities, or create a sense of security within yourself and others? The clearer you are to these values, goals, and purpose, the better because it makes it more tangible and achievable. Intention number five, become a better partner. If you're seeking to be a better partner, whether in your personal life, your romantic life, or your career life, identify the values that guide your vision of a fulfilling partnership. These might include trust, support, or open communication. You see how they all intersect there? (laughs) Set specific goals to improve yourself as a partner. This could involve developing active listening skills, expressing gratitude, or prioritizing quality time together. Then clarify your purpose for becoming a better partner. Is it to cultivate a deeper connection, contribute to a a harmonious relationship, or foster personal growth within the partnership? The more clarity you have, the better to make becoming a better partner tangible. Intention number six, strengthening my abilities to connect with others. If you want to build more connection with others or simply learn how to better connect with others, first define your values that are important to you in building connections. These could include authenticity, empathy, or practicing vulnerability. Set goals that enhance your ability to connect with others. This might involve improving your active listening skills 
attending networking events to meet like-minded people, or practicing effective communication. Reflect on your purpose for strengthening your connection abilities. Is it to build a supportive network, create meaningful relationships, or contribute positively to others' lives? Last but not least, intention number seven, strengthen my purpose. If you want to build a stronger connection to your purpose, first identify the values that align with your sense of purpose. These might include making a difference, personal growth, or leaving a lasting impact. Set goals that further clarify and strengthen your purpose. This could involve exploring your passions, identifying your unique strengths, or aligning your actions with your purpose. Then reflect on why strengthening your purpose is important to you. Is it to live a more fulfilling life, create a positive impact in the world, or find greater meaning in your daily endeavors? The more clarity you have as to your purpose and the goals that you can set, the easier it is for you to gain and build a stronger connection to your purpose. That covers it for the examples of setting clear intentions. And my last piece of advice here is to approach this process of setting clear intentions with a deep sense of self-reflection and self-actualization. Truly take your time in identifying your intentions. By doing so, you will create a powerful blueprint that not only guides your actions, but also ignites a profound sense of motivation and fulfillment. Remember, intentions that are well-defined and aligned with your core values have the potential to shape your life in transformative ways. Embrace this opportunity to set intentions that resonate with your true self and the ones that propel you towards self-mastery. Moving on through the self-mastery blueprint, another important phase is developing emotional intelligence. Developing emotional intelligence through self-mastery involves understanding and managing your own emotions with the goal to overall empathize with others. By recognizing and labeling emotions, practicing empathy, and enhancing communication skills, you can cultivate deeper connections, resolve conflicts effectively, and navigate relationships with grace. Emotional intelligence plays a pivotal role in our personal and professional lives. It allows us to navigate the complexities of human emotions, both within ourselves and in our interactions with others. Through the self-mastery blueprint, we can actively develop and strengthen our emotional intelligence, leading to a more fulfilling and harmonious life. The first step in developing emotional intelligence is self-awareness, which we've previously covered. It involves recognizing and understanding our own emotions, thoughts, and behavioral patterns. By paying close attention to our inner experiences, we can become more attuned to the subtleties of our emotions. This self-reflection and self-awareness enables us to label and describe our emotions accurately enhancing our ability to express them constructively. Self-awareness also entails being mindful of how our emotions affect our actions and decisions. By developing a deeper understanding of our emotional triggers, we can gain better control over our responses. This self-regulation is a crucial aspect of emotional intelligence. Through techniques such as deep breathing, meditation, and practicing emotional resilience, we can learn to manage our emotions effectively, even in challenging situations. Another essential aspect of emotional intelligence is empathy, the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. Cultivating empathy involves developing a genuine curiosity about others' perspectives, actively listening to their experiences, and putting ourselves in their shoes. By doing so, we create a safe space for open and honest communication, fostering stronger connections and fostering trust in our relationships. Furthermore, enhancing our communication skills is fundamental to developing emotional intelligence. Clear and effective communication allows us to express our emotions, needs, and boundaries while also listening attentively to others. By practicing active listening, nonverbal cues, and assertive yet empathetic communication, 
we can bridge gaps in understanding, revolve conflicts, and build healthier relationships. The Self-Mastery Blueprint encourages continuous growth and learning in emotional intelligence. This acknowledges that emotional intelligence is a skill that can be developed and refined over time with conscious effort and practice. By incorporating self-awareness, self-regulation, empathy, and effective communication into our daily lives, we can transform the way we perceive and interact with ourselves and others. As we progress on our journey towards emotional intelligence through the self-mastery blueprint, we will begin to notice positive changes in various aspects of our lives. We will become more adept at managing stress, building and maintaining healthy relationships, and embracing diversity and inclusion in every facet of our life. By mastering our emotions, we empower ourselves to navigate life's challenges with grace and compassion, ultimately leading to greater overall fulfillment and success. Another important phase of the self-mastery blueprint is strengthening the mind-body connection. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, sufficient sleep, and stress management create a solid foundation for mental and emotional well-being. When your physical health is nurtured, you are better equipped to face challenges, maintain focus, and thrive in your personal growth journey. In addition to physical well-being, nurturing your mental and emotional health plays a pivotal role in self-mastery. Understanding and managing your thoughts, emotions, and beliefs are essential aspects of strengthening the mind-body connection. One effective way to cultivate mental and emotional well-being is through mindfulness practices. Mindfulness involves paying attention to the present moment without judgment. By practicing mindfulness, you can observe your thoughts and emotions objectively, allowing you to gain insights into your inner experiences. This self-awareness enables you to respond to situations rather than react impulsively, enhancing your self-mastery. Another powerful technique for strengthening the mind-body connection is engaging in regular relaxation exercises. Activities such as meditation, deep breathing exercises, or progressive muscle relaxation can help you release tension, reduce stress, and promote overall well-being. These practices allow you to create a sense of calm and balance within yourself, supporting your self-mastery journey. Furthermore, developing a positive mindset and cultivating self-compassion are vital components of the mind-body connection. By consciously choosing positive thoughts and beliefs, you can reframe challenges as opportunities for growth and maintain a resilient attitude. Practicing self-compassion involves treating yourself with kindness, understanding, and forgiveness, the same as you would show a best friend or a close person in your life. When you embrace self-compassion, you build a solid foundation of self-love and acceptance, which fuels your personal growth and self-mastery. It's important to note that embodying and strengthening the mind-body connection is an ongoing process that requires consistent effort and practice. Just as physical exercise requires regularity to see results, nurturing your mental and emotional well-being also demands dedication. Therefore, integrating these practices into your daily routine and making them a priority will contribute significantly to your overall self-mastery. As you embark on your journey of self-mastery, remember that it is not about achieving perfection or completely eliminating challenges. Instead, it is about developing the resilience and inner strength to navigate life's ups and downs with grace and self-awareness. By strengthening the mind-body connection, taking care of your physical, mental, and emotional well-being, you lay the groundwork for a fulfilling and purposeful life of self-mastery. There are a number of other areas for the self-mastery blueprint that I am including in this mini series, but as I like to keep my episodes around the 30 minute mark as the maximum length, 
we're about to reach that time. So I'm going to be doing next week's episode on the self mastery blueprint part two. So be sure to stay tuned for that announcement of that episode coming next week. Thank you so much for tuning in as we talk about one of my favorite topics, self mastery, and I hope you find it as activating as I do. Self-mastery truly is the mirror to the endless opportunities of growth that are available to us. And if we bring awareness to these aspects together, the more change and expansion we can start to see in our lives. I cannot wait to connect with you around more insights to come on this topic, and I will talk with you all soon. 